And we're here with Don Lewis. Uh, some of my, some of you guys may remember all the stuff she's done on TV. We're hanging Mr. Mr. Cooper all the way back to a different world. But what y'all might not know, Grammy Award winning singer and Broadway actress from The Wizard of Oz. Can you tell us, um, first of all, how, how, how when will you be back on Broadway so people can check out your show? Right now we just closed the show, actually not even though, two weeks ago. So they're taking a break. They're going to set us up in a regular Broadway house. It'll probably be near the end of 2009 or early 2010 for a full regular run. So if you're in New York, save up your panties because it takes a few pennies to come see a show these days, but come on and check it out. We had an amazing time, an amazing cast, and it's, it's a wonderful show. As, as an actress that's done both TV and, and film and theater, how, where do you, I mean, do you have a favor to, towards anything? Like, is, is theater like? Wow. Uh, you know, no, I've been performing ever since I was a kid, and I was born and raised in New York, so I was raised in the theater. So I was raised singing and dancing, doing musical theater off and on Broadway, and then I got a record deal and had my own solo album out and then the TV series hit while I was doing a Broadway show so I moved to California and then became a TV personality and that's how most people got to know me and then I had to slowly convince them along the way or remind them no I also sing I also dance I do a lot of other things but I gotta tell you I love whatever project I'm working on because I've gotten to do some really great work with some really great people so whether it's a concert or a theater gig or a film or a TV series or animated series. I have an animated movie coming out this summer, Futurama, Into the Wild Green Yonder. So I've been blessed to be able to do a lot of things in front of the camera as well as behind. Now, as a singer, Silky Soul Music, this tribute to Frankie Beverly and Mays, oh, yeah. how much have they inspired your career? Just has inspired you as an artist, just got you through the day just listening to it. Uh, Frankie Beverly and Mays, there's one of those groups that you know we all grew up on and I would go to try to sneak in their concerts with my older brothers and you don't meet too many people that can sing one song for about 15-20 minutes and the entire audience stay on their feet and get mad when they stop singing. Frankie Beverly can sing Joy and Pain from Monday to Wednesday afternoon, take lunch, come back after a dinner break, sing it again and everyone is thrilled. I've never seen anything like it. It's amazing. It's amazing and they are timeless. So praise God. I, that's the kind of life and career I want to have. Now I know that you've been working, you know, as, as a union actress and as a union, uh, as a theater union also, and y'all probably get health care. But right now there's a big conversation around universal health care for all the uninsured people. I want to know like, if you have any opinions on the program and the propositions been made so far by the Obama administration. And can you just like speak on that a little bit, health care in America? I'm very much in support of that. President Obama has set out a completely comprehensive plan that makes a lot of sense, that puts our money to better use, that allows us to pick the doctors that we want to pick and get the service, the particular service that we need that is not government regulated. And you're right, I am very fortunate in the union that I'm in, in the entertainment industry, to get health care. And I was just talking with someone about this today. In this country right now, you can't afford to get sick. You can't afford to meet with the anesthesiologist and the laboratory to do your blood work, etc. You get a bill from so many different people for one hospital visit, it's incredible. And if we don't get it together soon, people, I'm afraid of what diseases we're going to end up spreading because people are going to be too afraid or just simply can't afford to go to a doctor to get checks. We're going to have a lot of sick people walking around, a lot of uninformed people walking around. And it's, and it's time. It's, it's long overdue for a country that's supposed to be the richest country on the planet, for us to be in such poor shape economically as well as our health care and our educational system. We have a lot of work to do and uh, I commend him. He came in the deep water with a really full plate that the state of this country is in, but he's doing his best to do his best and now we have to stand up and do our part and vote and lobby and speak up and get educated. If you don't know, find out so you know what you're talking about and cast your vote. You heard it right here. Don Lewis, I appreciate it, My and I can't wait to keep following you and this great career you've built. Thank you so much. Thank you.